Hello everybody, welcome back. Another short ride with the stud, number 45. We're gonna be in Southeastern for this one. Uh, we're gonna be in the year 1981. We're gonna show you one with uh, Dennis Condry and Randy Rose, uh, defending the Southeastern Championship belts. And uh, this is just prior, or not too long before they include Norvell Austin in that group, and they're going to have the very first Midnight Express that was ever formed. A three-man team, the Midnight Express of Norvell Austin, Dennis Condry, and Randy Rose. But uh, you're going to see a little bit of Rose and Condry here. You're also going to see them wrestle against Norvell Austin and Robert Gibson, who's going to be a rock and roll guy uh, as time goes by, quite a few years after this, as a matter of fact. And uh, you're also going to see uh, Ron Bass, or you'll hear a lot of him, he's at the set. And you're going to see Paul Orndorff, the great Paul Orndorff. Uh, just it gives the people an idea of the talent that was there, man, in 1981, Southeastern Wrestling, down in that Pensacola, along the Gulf Coast. Uh, we were just on fire. Business was just tremendous. And uh, so we're going to, this is actually a TV match for the championship, tag championship on television. And uh, let's take a look at it. Our first match is one fall, 10 minutes time limit. Your referee, Larry Brock. Larry Brock, your referee. Introducing in the corner to my left, at a combined weight of 445 pounds, Norvell Austin and Robert Gibson. Austin and Gibson. Their opponents, at a combined weight of 472 pounds, the Southeastern Tag Team Champion, Randy Rose and Dennis Condry. Rose and Condry taking on the Junkyard Dog and Robert Gibson, and uh, two outstanding athletes against the champions. Certainly the champions have had, have had rough sledding, Charlie, but they've hung on to those belts tenaciously. Uh, they'll get uh, quite an outing with Gibson and Norvell. Uh, should give them uh, quite a team to go against. It will be uh, Dennis Condry starting for the Cousins and the Junkyard Dog. Norvell Austin out as Ron Bass joins us here at uh, our microphone. Well, this is the first time I've had a chance to come out here and talk to you fellas while a match is going on. And the reason I'm out here is there's one little skinny punk up out the ring, Mr. Robert Gibson. The man is chasing me around and saying that I heard his brother Ricky. And now he wants to challenge me. Well, that's okay. I want to come out here and say he's going to get annihilated right here on TV today because he's the Southeastern Tag Team Champion. And everybody knows that those can take care of business, baby. Ongoing feud with Robert Gibson. Certainly, uh, you put his brother uh, Ricky out of professional wrestling, and Robert has every right in the world, I would think, to uh, seek a little revenge on Ron Bass. That reminds me of a dog chase with a Mack truck. What's he going to do once he checks that Mack truck? Robert Gibson ain't going to get through the Mack truck. I guarantee you, he's going to get through the Mack truck. Because Rose is trying to bring him up. Gibson looking good now as he moves up on Randy Rose. Nice arm drag. Tags Norvell Austin and the dog moves in to take over. Gibson and Austin looking good as a combination. And uh, Ron Bass, uh, you know, certainly law of averages are bound to catch up with you sooner or later. Uh, you put a lot of people on the disabled list, the injured list, and uh, sooner or later it's going to come back to haunt you, I'm afraid. <laughs> If you keep yourself in condition, if you're a superb athlete like I am, you don't have to worry about injuries. Robert Gibson can chase, the stud can chase, anybody, Paul Orndorff, anybody can chase the big bass man, but once you get him, what are you going to do with him, man? Anybody can do, maybe. <laughs> Look at that move. You ain't said nothing about Rose and Condry. What about that move right there, sir? Randy Rose combined with good wrestling uh, in his uh, repertoire here. And uh, nice flying head scissor. I've never said that Rose or Condry couldn't do it at all on that match, but certainly they elect to cut corners, Charlie. Indeed. Uh, good flying head scissors by Rose has Norvell tied up with those head scissors and the junkyard dog looks for some means of escape. May I interrupt? You say cut corners. Does that mean that they try to win a match? Well, that's exactly what they do in that They win matches, baby. That's what you gotta do to be a professional wrestler. They win matches, baby. You know, there are a set of rules laid down for professional wrestling like any other sport and uh, the normal object is to follow those particular rules and win within them. But, uh, yes, I say that Rosie Condry, along with yourself, uh, will go outside those rules of gameplay, Ron. Thanks, 
rules fit your own situation, and that's what makes the loser, and that's what makes the winner. Doug, you hadn't said nothing about the fist that is being used right now. Good move by Robert Gibson. Catch is currently with that abdominal stretch coming off of the rope. Brock asking for a submission. In the meantime, there's a corner being cut by Randy Rose coming off of that rope. Well, we told you the man would get annihilated today and look at it now. He's hurt already. Making the save gets the tag and moves in to go to work on Robert Gibson. Oh, man, I from that second wow. by Randy Rose. Gibson being very tenacious, Ron. He's staying right in there. He is staying all right, but he's getting his brains beat out. There's a big difference left there, too. You're sad he gets your brains beat out. That's ignorant, and that's what's happening right there. <laughs> Condor, we've got that reverse chin lock now, uh, applying the pressure to Robert Gibson. We got again. it. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye. <laughs> Baxter. Charlie Flat, did I tell you the man is in for a meeting of his last day right here on TV and he's got the audacity to chase me and want to get a hold of the man. Well, he ain't in my league yet, baby. Rose clotheslining Gibson, but Gibson bails out on the two count. The tag goes to Condry. Condry moves in and stays over. And a kick to the midsection. Rose and Condry pounding away at Robert Gibson and they certainly had one run. We've got a fresh man in this. Nuts Dog in against Dennis Condry. Look at the fist up there on my man last night. Charlie Black. You ain't said nothing about this. I'm probably even looking at this. You people are so fine. Robert Gibson tags back in. This is Condry. Condry hits the match. A little bit of their own medicine last, I think. Wait a minute. Ron Bass has put his two cents worth in. He tripped Robert Gibson. Condry uh, going down for the pin. And uh, that was Ron Bass getting the man successfully on the guard. Robert Gibson out after Bass on the floor. Condry Rose doubling up on Norville Austin in the ring. Bass confusion reigning here. Paul Orndorff hits that square circle with Cowboy Booty in hand and also Rose and Condry. Gibson and Bass still going at it on the floor. And... Well, well it got a little wild there. I mean, you know, uh, I think I talked a little bit about this. Uh, Saito uh, was around in that time frame, and uh, Bass and Condry and Rose, and, you know, and uh, all those guys uh, uh, watching each other's backs, and it... And it didn't happen on TV just like it happened at night in the arenas. Uh, this is one of those TV events that gets out of hand and it gets pretty wild. And uh, it was just, uh, it was a common factor in uh, 1981 Southeastern Wrestling. Uh, there, was a, there was a lot of bad feelings between a great big group of guys uh, on one side and a, and a heck of a troop of us on the other. Uh, Brad Armstrong and Bob Armstrong and my brother and Jimmy Golden and... Well, uh, Bob Ondorf, as you saw there in Orville, Austin. Uh, well, just a tremendous group of wrestlers. Uh, thank you all so much for your support. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been another one. Uh, if you want to see the long ride, you go to ClassicContinentalWrestling.com, $4.99 a month, $32.99 a year, $39.99 a year, I'm sorry. And, uh, and uh, see uh, see much wrestling as you want, basically. Uh, wow, there's a tremendous amount of it there. Uh, thank y'all all so much, and we're going to bring you another one.